Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we will take a look at what is Newman and how we can run collections using Newman. So let's get started. So what is Newman? Well, Newman is a command line collection runner for Postman. So in the previous video, we looked at how to run collections using the Postman inbuilt collection runner. But with Newman, it allows you to run and test a Postman collection directly from the command line. Since you can do this via command line, you can also easily integrate this with your continuous integration server as well as build system like Jenkins and Travis CI. And Newman is an NPM package, so we can install it via the NPM command. And we will take a look at that in a bit. So now let's talk about how we can run collections using Newman. So to run the collection, the first thing we will do is export our Postman collection, which will be exported in the JSON format. And then we can run the Newman run command which is basically Newman run and then pass in your collection name. So this will generate a basic Newman command line report for us. Now let's take a look at what we will be covering in this video. So we're going to start off with exporting our Postman collection. Then we will install Newman in our command line tool. And from there, we're going to run collection using the Newman run command. And then we're going to run into some issues. So we're going to troubleshoot those errors and fix those errors and then run Newman run command again. And finally, we will generate the HTML report using the Newman HTML reporter. So let's head over to Postman and get started. So I'm back here in Postman. And if you notice here, this is the collection we created in our previous videos. The very first thing we're going to do is export this collection. So to export it, what you can do is click on this three ellipses here. And then you will see this option export. So I'm going to click on that. So it will then tell me, okay, which version do I want to export it in? So previously it used to be version one, which is deprecated. So you can either export in collection v2 or the recommended one, which is v2.1. So I'm going to do the recommended one over here and then click export. So this will give me an option where I want to export this. Let me bring this over here. So I'm going to say I want it exported in my desktop. So I will just save this over here. So I'm going to keep the file name same, which is Trello underscore postman underscore collection. And I will save this here. So now it says the collection has been exported successfully. Awesome. So I'm going to open up my command line tool here and let me bring this up over here. So this is my command line tool. You can open up if you're using Mac, you can pull up your terminal. If you're using Windows, you can pull up any command line tool that you use. So I'm already in my desktop and in my desktop, what I'm going to do is type in dir, which will give me basically the list of what I have in my desktop. And if you're using Mac, you can type in LS to get the list of what you have in your desktop. So over here, I have Trello postman collection .json. So that's good. Now what we will do is run our Newman installation. So basically get a Newman installed. So to install this, since I mentioned it's an NPM package, what we can do is I will type in NPM install Newman and I will type in dash G, which will install this globally. So make sure to type this dash G to get this installed globally so that you can run the Newman command directly. And I'm going to hit enter. So this will get the Newman installed for me. If you run into some permission issues, make sure you are running it as an admin so that you get this installed globally. Okay, so now this is installed for me. And if I type in Newman now, oops, let me fix this. So this will actually give me all the options that I have. So it can tell me that I can get the version number by doing dash V or I can do dash H to actually see the help command. So let's do this. I'm going to do Newman dash V. So this is telling me I'm running version 5.2.1. And if I do Newman dash H. So basically it gave me the same command that we were running by just typing Newman there. So one thing over here to actually run this, it's telling me I have to do Newman run and then pass in the collection name there. So let's do that. So I'm going to do Newman run and my collection name, if you remember, it was trello.postman underscore collection dot JSON. And I'm going to hit enter. So there you go. It's running our Postman collection and then we got a bunch of errors. So that's okay. I'm going to just scroll up and let's take a look at what's happening here. So when we run the Newman run command, it actually started running our Trello collection. So when it ran that, it ran each and individual request that we created under the collection. So if you can notice here, board, it, the first one it ran was get board ID, which I can see it over here. And then it ran the get board ID list. So basically it's following the same collection order over here. Then it ran the collections and all the tests in it. Another thing to notice it, it's also running this pre-request script here. So which is pretty cool because it's actually running our pre-request scripts that we created. And it's also printing out the stuff that we were actually printing it out. Now we are seeing obviously a lot of red over here, which is things went wrong. But let's not focus on that for now. But if you take a look at this report, it's telling me the iterations it ran, all the requests that it ran, number of test scripts, 
pre-request scripts as well as the assertions. Now a bunch of these are read because it failed. So if I like take a look at the first error here, it says the get address info e not found base URL. So this base URL, it's basically not able to find this. So what's actually happening here? So what I'm going to do is open up the JSON file, the JSON file that we actually generated, which was, let me just show that over here. So this Trello Postman collection JSON, let's open this up and take a look at if we have the base URL there in that JSON. So I'm going to open that up right now. Okay. So I've opened up my JSON report over here and there are a few things to notice. So first of all, we're getting some information here, which is a Postman ID, the name of our collection, some description. So these are all the things that we added in our Postman. And then we have this item over here. If I actually minimize this, let's do this. Okay. So we have item event and variable. If I open up item, I'm getting basically a list of all the requests that we created. So here I have basically two indentation over here. So one is the boards. So all the boards related request and another one is our cards related request. So if I actually search for base URL here, first of all, let me, if I just scroll down, you're going to notice base URL here. So if I search for this, so we are seeing base URL. Okay. That's good. But I'm not actually seeing the actual value for that base URL. All I'm seeing is the key, but not actually the value. So what's going on here. So if I need to get the value for this base URL, where can I find that? So let's get back to our postman and take a look at where we stored the value. So if you remember when we were actually making a request, for example, here, if I'm making a request to this, so this base URL was coming from the environment variable which was stored in our production.json. If I click on this and open this up, you're going to notice that we have this base URL here. So this base URL, we need to pass it in to our collection runner. So when we were running it directly through the runner over here, it was able to pick that up directly. But now that we are running it through Newman, it's not able to pick up this production environment values. So to actually do that, what we can do is export all the variables. In our scenario, we just have one variable, export this production JSON, and then tell Newman to actually pick this up. So to export this, what we can do is I'm going to click on this button over here and then I have an option to download this production.json. So I'm going to click on download. This will download the environment for me and I'm going to save. So I'm saved it in the same location where I stored my Postman collection. Now I'm going to go back to my terminal and then scroll up. If I type in there again, I can see now that I have my production environment JSON as well as my collection JSON. Okay, now let's run this Newman run command again. So I'm going to do Newman run, then pass in my Trello. This time I'm going to say, okay, you also need to run my environment that I'm going to pass it to you. So to pass that environment, I'm going to type in dash E and over here, I will say the environment name. So this is production post environment.json. So let's take a look at the command here. So we are running our Trello postman collection. Then I'm doing dash E and then passing in the environment name. And if I hit run this time, Okay. So all of our tests are running and this time we got all greens. So not a single red here, which is pretty amazing. And basically it went in and executed all our requests. We can see all our assertions running green. The pre-request ran, the test script ran, all the pre-requests and everything. And in fact, all the console logs, we can see it over here. So everything is being printed out and we are not running, seeing any issues over here. So that's pretty cool. And over here in our quickly report that we can see that it ran, the total duration was 2.6 seconds. The data it received, average response time for each of the request. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can run your Postman collection in Newman. Now another thing we're going to take a look at, and this one is totally optional. If you want to stick around, you can stick around, is how we can generate this report in an HTML format. So to do that, what we're going to do is install another package called npm Newman Reporter HTML. So it's an npm package called Newman Reporter HTML. So I'm going to do npm install Newman dash reporter dash HTML. And this one also I'm going to install globally. So I'm going to pass in dash G flag there and I'm going to hit enter. So this will take some time to get this installed. Okay. So it's installed for me now. And what I will do is kind of do the same command again that I was doing before. So I basically press the up key two times so that I can get this command over here. So I have this Newman run Trello Postman collection JSON dash E everything else remains same. Nothing changes, but I'm going to add in another flag here. So I'm going to do dash R. Then I will say CLI comma HTML. So I'm just saying that, okay, just run the HTML report. And then the CLI is basically run it in a way where it's actually running it in a CLI environment. So this is CLI is optional. If you just run HTML, it will just generate that too. But for now, we're going to keep it same and then hit run again. Okay. So it's executing all of our requests again. And now everything ran green. 
and if I type in dir here or if you're on Mac type in ls you will notice a new folder will get created so here I have this Newman folder that got created and if I go to that Newman folder and do dir again and this time I can see that I have this HTML report that got created for me so I'm going to open up this HTML report in a new Chrome browser and see what this looks like so there you go this is the HTML report it generated for us so over here you can see the same collection information the description the time it took to actually run the collection as well as all the information that you were seeing in a command line tool so the iteration request pre-request script and if I scroll down I can see a little bit more detailed version of all my requests as well as the assertions it ran so if I scroll down I can see all the assertions that it's running so that's a really nice HTML view that you also get using the Newman HTML reporter so this one is totally optional once again if you want to get an HTML report you can do it this way if you just want to get a basic command line reporter that's fine too you can you don't have to install this package so in the next video we will integrate all of this with a CI CD tool and the one we're going to be using is Travis CI all right guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to support my work you can do that by sharing this video to whomever you think will find it useful and you can support me to the buy me a coffee website the link will be in the description for that Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.